going to do is I'm going to flip over here and show you a demo of the web client. And I would like for you to notice that for those of you who know what the classic client looks like or the fact client, the web client is very, very similar. Um, it, it gives you full features. And again, if you'll notice, I'm on a web browser. There's my web address. I'm in the Fabricam company. And again, I have all the feature functions that I would if I were on my FAT client. If you'll notice here to my left, I have all the modules that are available. I have manufacturing, HR, payroll, inventory, purchasing, sales. I, I do have the full suite of the ERP within the web client. And one of, I think, the most important things is if you look at what, you, what we call the home page, which right here is my home page, the home page is built for everything you do for a living should be on your home page. We want you to be as efficient as possible. Now this goes for the web client or the fat client. I want to have as fewer clicks as possible. I want the screen to give me all the feature rich functions that I need to do my job at a click. If you'll notice over here to the right, we have customized this page. So I can, at a glance, customize exactly what I want to see on my screen at any given moment, and I can change this from day to day if I need to. But it gives the user complete control of what their homepage will be based on the role centers that they've been assigned. So if you look at my, for example, Quick Links, Quick Links is that part of your homepage where this is what I do for a living also, right? I also have, for example, my time management over here with my icons of my purchase requisitions. So there is a lot of feature functions that when you look at what is available on your homepage, again, it is customizable for you. Again, I have my requisitions, I have my time entry, and if you scroll up, I also have my business analyzer, which we had spoke earlier about what that business analyzer is. It comes with um, GP 2015, a preset list of business analyzer reports that can be viewed from your homepage. Now these reports are canned, but you can take those reports, modify them, and actually create your own to have a graphical representation of an, or a dashboard of the information that is important to you. So if you look at what you've got on your dashboard, it is again, your home. You don't want to leave home. Um, and one of the quick things that you look on the quick links here is the pencil. I have now the ability to control what's in my quick links on a daily, monthly, yearly basis. So for example, I may be working and needing to review the cash flow calendar this week because Jane is on vacation. But next week she's not going to, um, she's going to be back, and I'm not going to have to do that. So I can delete it, I can modify it, remove it, leave it there, depending on what I want to do. One of the other great features is you'll see is you'll see here we have a RAND group. If I go and modify that, you'll notice that I have a website address. I now have access to a website from my Quick Links. And the huge advantage to this is a lot of our clients are having to go to the bank website. They're having to go to client websites, vendor websites on a daily basis. So from my web client or my fat client for that matter, I can actually click on a web browser. So for example, I'm going to click on Rand Group in my quick links. And you'll notice now it's opening up my RAND Group web page. So from my web browser, I have now opened up a web page. And again, what we had talked about earlier in some of the new feature-rich um, functions of GP 2015 is you have Excel dashboarding reports. So these are some canned reports. I'm going to click on the financial dashboards. And again, these are modifiable, this list. And I'm going to come down here to Excel, and if you notice, I've opened it up a couple of times here, but I have a full featured dashboard now. I have all of the graphs, all of the information that I want to view as far as a financial dashboard. Now again, these are modifiable, but you do get the core. 
I have ratios, I have all of the information that is going to back up my dashboards at a glance and all I have to do is download them at any given moment. And one of the nice things about this, if you go back to the dashboard, I can move my bar and if you'll notice my data is changing. Right? It changes based on the date filters that I'm selecting. So again, being more productive, giving you the tools that you need to do your job efficiently. And all I did was sit on my browser and click on my financial dashboards. So again, feature rich functions, giving you those tools that are out there. And as I had mentioned, you can have multiple screens open. So for example, if I go into financials and I go into accounts, and I'm going to open up one of our screens. So if you notice, I've got an account here. I'm going to open up an account. I have a card opened up. So I have an account maintenance card. If you'll notice down here, I still have my Fabricam open, but down here I have a card opened. If I come back to my checkbook, and I open up my checkbook, I now have two cards open here at the bottom. I have my account still open and my checkbook still open. Giving the users the ability through a web browser to function as if they're on a fat client. Again, you don't see a lot of that on web browsers, but again, giving those tools available. If I go back to my home page, then I can still access any of the screens that I have in my quick links. I have still complete feature rich functions. I can create documents, post documents. And if you look down here in my requisition, I have pending one user action. I can click on my box. And it's going to give me the information that I need already pre-filtered for me of the things that I need to do with that purchase requisition. So again, full feature functions, giving the users the tools that they need to function properly and efficiently.